the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA Gray Sports and your Illini Nation. Communication and sports go hand in hand, but it looks a whole lot different for the United States women's deaf national team. The squad wrapping up a week-long training program at the University of Illinois. And as WCI3's Bryce Beamett reports, the Illini's recently renovated facilities offer a perfect pitch for Team USA. When Joy Fawcett and Amy Griffin needed a place for the U.S. Deaf Women's National Team to train, the former World Cup champions turned coaches knew who to call. Very rarely do you meet people whose actions and words match every single day, but Janet is one person who that I, I knew if she said it, she meant it. Illinois women's soccer head coach Janet Rayfield offered up the facilities to the team, who jumped at the opportunity to finish camp in Urbana before heading to the World Cup in Malaysia. We usually don't have facilities like this, so it's, it's really cool that Janet has opened her, her arms to us. I mean, they've had training camps on a dairy farm. They've had training camps in various and sundry places. And now that they're under the U.S. soccer umbrella, um, you know, we've talked and she's, you know, I've said, look, we've got a great facility if you ever, you know, need a training camp. Now, with sign language interpreters by their side to help, Fawcett and Griffin, who played at the highest level, are giving back to the game. To grow the game in, a, in the best way I can. And what I'm giving back is is way more than what I'm giving, honestly. It reminded me of when I was on the team back in, in the 90s, early 90s, that you didn't get anything, any support. It just reminded me of that and wanting to fight and help them grow and get what they deserve. And we are at that point now. And by something as small as offering facilities, the Illini helped with that change. I think it's just been educational for all of us and to have them share that with people in the community and our players. And, and like I said, I've learned a lot watching them train and just how um, we all communicate, but sometimes in different ways. And that's been a great lesson to learn. They can feel valued. Um, it's one of the reasons we're here at the University of Illinois. And with their training wrapping up, the U.S. Deaf Women's National team will fly out to Malaysia in September. Reporting in Urbana, I'm Bryce Beeman, WCIA 3 Sports.